questionable calls from replacement reps. Tonight we're talking to a local rep who is now heading back to work. Born Your Corner's John Rapolo has his take on all this turmoil. John? Yeah, I don't know if it's my take, but his name is Jeff Rice by day. He is a run-of-the-mill Fort Myers attorney. By night, he is an NFL referee. This week, he's heading back to the football field after a lockout that enraged a nation. Was it this play that brought the NFL referees back to the field? Which is football by Tate with Jennings simultaneous. It ended up being a wrong call. Ruled a touchdown, but by most accounts, was actually an interception. We're the best of the best. Fort Myers attorney and NFL referee Jeff Rice glad he saw that play and how it was called by the fill-in refs and had a feeling he would be getting a call very soon to come back to work. I think that was a straw that broke the camel's back and the reaction of the players, coaches, fans, and media. I think they realized that it was out of control and something had to be done. The booze reached a boiling point on Monday. Even players and coaches struggling to restrain themselves from lashing out against the replacement refs. It's obvious they're just they're not qualified to be there. I mean, I've been doing this for over 40 years, 18 years in the NFL. I work extremely hard as it, as do my colleagues. The breakthrough came Wednesday night following months of stalled negotiations. The big sticking point? A major benefit the refs say they didn't want to lose. They wanted to take away our pension, which is something that was promised to us when we were all hired. He'll now get to keep that pension, and the refs will get a pay raise and will make over $200,000 per year. But for now, he's not worried about retirement. He's just excited to get back on the field, even though he knows it's not always going to be easy. I got clobbered in the middle of a pile, and I was on ESPN for a couple of days after that. So that when uh, he had a concussion, but went back out and finished the game. <laughs> and our interview with Rice wouldn't have been complete if I didn't ask him one last question. Could I ask you about a favorite team in the NFL? You probably can't tell me that, right? Oh, I absolutely have a favorite team. It's the guys in the striped shirts. <laughs> <laughs> well, we had to ask, right? And how about that answer? Well, Jerry Rice and the rest of the 122 NFL's officials are heading to Dallas at this hour where they will sit down with that new agreement. It's expected it will be ratified officially tomorrow or Saturday. Live in the studio, John Rapolo, Fox 4, in your corner.